assuming the purple YouTuber is Lazy Purple. Yes, I was trying to think of a name of a guy naming of that name. Damn it! Screen Fortress is the shit. Do you mean it's crap or do you mean it's the best crap ever? I want a Halloween event right now. Well, that depends if the TF team release a blog post explaining that it comes out, and I hope it does come out, because we all need some Screen Fortress in our lives. Please God, I hope they do announce it. Good to know I'm not the only one who messes up trick stabbing er, obviously. Unfortunately, I really don't like playing Pyro. This update means quite, means quite little to me. Well, to me it means a lot. At least we have something, at least. The music is too loud. I almost can hear you. Sorry about that, mate. It's a bit hard to edit sometimes. Trying to balance the mic and music can be a bit hard to do. Thankfully, you can hear me. Not all the videos are that. Thanks for responding. By the way, I know how hard it can be balancing the audio volume. It used to be used to edit videos for a friend. Audio is one of the most important things. Sorry for my English. I'm from... Solkoviak. By the way, I love your videos. Thank you, and sorry if I butchered your name. I need to have a very hard ball. You need to have a very hard balls to play Spy at this moment and this map with this and uh, with this many fucking pyros. Oh, wait, flyers. Hey, is that a Muse Hulk reference? I wouldn't mind a rehash. I just want them to turn on Halloween mode, but a conclusion would suck. A cancellation would suck. Indeed, if they cancelled Screen Fortress, I would literally cry. Invasion lasted a few days into Screen Fortress, so I think there will will be a Halloween event. It probably carry the, the Inferno update will carry on further to past Halloween. A year and a half and all we got was a few new maps and that are glitchy. Glitching in control rooms, selling is missing textures, multiple maps showing random production. The Dragon's Fury would be better if it had more range. Other than that, it's just terrible. Oops, I didn't click more. Um, could someone retake that? Well, apparently it was long. Oh, Gordon and Bennett do something about it. There are only 16 people that, and they are could only do so much. The update was good and they put a lot of work into it. It's sad sometimes that people shit on the TF team even when they try their best. Give the update a few weeks or days and everything will be get better. What do you mean a few maps? Six is the most that have ever come with an update. This is what a good update looks like. That is true, we had six maps, five from the community and one from them. And there has been recent patches. So a lot of the problems have been fixed. Like I said, when a major update comes out, expect a lot of patches to come out, particularly on work days. Oh boy, don't get me wrong, I like the update, and I have respect for the TF team. However, I have utter disgust in Valve. I was just hoping for more, and a year plus just doesn't seem to justify the amount of content we received and quality. As the amount of maps isn't the issue, it's the fact that they are unfinished and or buggy, which has somewhat dumped my love for the update. Also, no one should be angry at the TF team. Like you said, 16 dev team, and I think only 4 of them are actually coders, 6 actually. So, yeah, no, pop, pop, pops to them, and it's not their fault that I give gripes with the update. But we should still be holding Valve accountable that they are... My multi-billion dollar company, led by a man whose argument reaches people, planet that they haven't got more staff. Blizzard ha had have it, EA have it, so why is Valve filling their customers with lack of TF2 development staff? Overwatch should be being mean training point for TF2, where Valve says, shit, we've got some competitive here, and we better set up our game. But none of that happened, and you should, and you could also argue Valve doesn't want to throw the resources into the falling game, but this update has shown actually it's not falling, it's thrusting more and more. We decide dedicate the players and the lo loyal players should not sit 
I, totally, and uh, uh, okay, so you put a lot there, man, and uh, I'm afraid we have to run the five minute mark here. Thank you for the comments that everyone comments on these videos. That's a lot of reading. You can read it yourself, but uh, yeah, I haven't done the reading, the comments for a long while. And usually they last up the five minutes because it was a, this, these ones are long ones. I think they're worth showing. Now, obviously enough though, I made lots of TF2 videos. Usually when there's a big update, I usually do one. I might do a showcase to, of all the expecting items or the TF2 unlockable weapons you can now expect now. Which is great, actually. I, I love expecting them. I was always wondering why you couldn't expect them, but now you can. Yet again, Jungle Inferno is a good update. There were some bugs, bugs and unfinished stuff which had been fixed over patches and exploits. As per usual, get found by Delphi, and usually a day or two later they get fixed. And like I said, thank you for the support, guys. We're at 5.5k. If we reach 6k, then bloody hell. You guys are man magnificent. Thank you very much and have a good day.